Okay, we're now going to look at the, one of the types of transformations. And this type of transformation is called a translation. Let's look at a definition of a translation. Uh, a translation is moving a shape without rotating or reflecting it. Some people describe it as sliding an object or sliding a shape. The typical questions you're given in an exam are to carry out a translation, so in other words, move the shape. Uh, another way is by describing it in words, so saying so many squares to the left or right and so many squares up or down. And finally, they may ask you to move it or to describe how it moves by using a vector. And we'll talk about these vectors in a minute. Okay, so here we've got an object, A, B, C. And we've got the image, A dash, B dash, C dash. And the question says that this shape has been moved to give you this shape. And the question says, describe the translation from how to get from this shape to this shape. So as you can see, it's been slid, it's been moved across the grid without a rotation or reflection. So it's definitely a translation. Let's see how it's been moved. So I, what I normally do is I start off with one corner and I see how to get it to the equivalent corner. So if I had to get from here to here, I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six squares to the right and one, two, three, four squares down. So the translation would be six squares to the right four squares down, if you're describing it in words. We're now going to look at how to describe that by using a vector. So, uh, in this particular case, if I was to write the vector for this translation, it would be six squares to the right and four squares down. And I would describe it as six minus four. The top number tells you how many squares to the right or to the left you're moving it. If it's positive, it's telling you how many squares to move it to the right. If this number on the top is negative, it's telling you how many squares to the left to move it. Underneath, the second number tells you how many squares up or down to move it. If it's positive, it's telling you you're moving the shape up. If it's a negative, you're moving the shape down. So this column vector is saying six squares to the right, six and it's positive, and four squares down, because it's four and it's negative. If you had the vector minus two, one, It'd be saying moving it two squares to the left because it's negative and one square up. So the top one is a horizontal movement. The bottom one is a vertical movement. Okay, uh, this question has given you a shape A and it is said that it has been translated to, to the position of B and it wants to know what the column vector would be to describe the translation. So as there's been no rotations or reflections, you can see that A has been moved or slid to get B. Uh, then we know it's a translation. Let's see how it's been translated. So again, start from one corner and see how we get to that equivalent corner in the, in the image. So it's been moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares to the left and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares up. So in the vector, 7 squares to the left would be minus 7, and 5 squares up would be 5. So the vector is minus 7, 5. Finally, uh, we've got another question, uh, our last question, and it has given you an object, it's a triangle on a grid, and it has given you a vector to translate it by, which is 1, 9. This 1 means we're going to move it 1 square to the right, and this 9 means we're going to move it 9 squares up. So let's do it for each corner. So we're going to move this corner, one square to the right, and nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Resist the temptation to touch the paper each time you move it up, because then it can be quite confusing. So we've done this corner. This one, one square to the right, and nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And finally, the last corner. One square to the right, nine up. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As we can see, it, it looks similar to what we've started with. It's two squares on the bottom, and it's three squares up. And then finally, join it up nice and smoothly with your ruler, unlike what I've just done. So use a ruler for this, definitely. And join it up, and you have translated the shape by using the vector one, 